If you refuse to let cold weather stop you from having a good time on your motorcycle, we'll stick around because this is our 2021 Cold Weather Glove Buyer's Guide. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. Now, we all know that when it comes to riding your motorcycle, there's not a lot of things worse than being cold and having cold, frozen hands. It is miserable. So today, we're gonna help you out. We're gonna give you a good starting point. We have eight great options for gloves when it comes to cold weather and a wide variety from just your wind stopper gloves all the way up to your full gauntlet gloves, you're insulated. There's a lot of different options up here. I'm gonna talk about each one briefly, talk about what's different between all of these to help you decide which one might be best for you. Now, before we dive in and we talk about these, I do wanna point out there's a couple other things that can really help out when it comes to cold weather. On all the adventure rides that we do at Rocky Mountain, all our bikes are geared up with either heated grips or a grip heater kit and some sort of way to block the wind. Those will be tremendously helpful when it comes to staying warm and comfortable. And at the end of this video, we're gonna talk about some of those accessories, so stick around to see those. But without further ado, let's get this started with our first sets of gloves. All right, so to get started, we have the three inversion gloves that we offer from Climb, and what the inversion gloves all have in common is that they have the wind stopper liner. I do wanna point out, though, that these are windproof, but they're not waterproof. They're very water resistant, so if you get cotton in, if you get these wet, you'll probably be just fine, but not meant to be worn all day long when you're getting soaking wet, just something to remember. But the first one is the inversion. So for these, you're about $50, and this for us is what we would consider just a bump up from an off-road MX style glove. It's lightweight, you still have pretty good feel. It's a little bit thicker than an off-road glove, but what's nice is that you do have some silicone in the palm as well as on the fingers. You are touch screen compatible. You have some fleece lining here on the thumb, but this glove is just lightweight, it's comfortable, and it's gonna block the wind for you. And for us, with this style of glove, we feel you could be in that 45 to 50 degree range and still be very comfortable. Now from there, if you want the wind stopper liner, but you also do want some insulation, you've got the inversion insulated. You bump up about $10 in price, very similar. You've got silicone on the palm and the fingers, touchscreen compatible, but you have 60 grams of thin slate insulation. So if you wanna dip even lower than that 45 to 50 degree, 50 degree range, this would be a great option. I do wanna point out, however, looking at these first two gloves, you'll notice there's no leather construction, there's no additional protection. So they're really not gonna give you that much protection if you were to go down. If that is something that is important to you, then you wanna bump up to the Inversion Pro. You bump up in price here to around $90, but here's what you're getting, wind stopper liner, but now you have the Pittard's Armor Tan Leather. It's a very high quality leather. You get excellent abrasion resistance, but you're also getting the pour on XRD padding now over top the knuckles. So when compared to the first two gloves that we just showed you, you're getting a lot more protection. Now with the Inversion Pro and the Inversion, like I mentioned earlier, with these two gloves, for us, 45, 50 degrees, we're gonna be great. If you wanted to use this glove and dip into those colder temperatures, from our experience, what we like to do, because this is the type of glove that we really like, but we would couple this with a heated grip or the grip heater kit and something to block the wind. And when we do that, this type of glove will get us even into those 30 degree temps on those colder rides. But if you're looking for something that's gonna offer even more insulation or you're looking for something that's waterproof, that is what's coming up next. All right, so the next two gloves that we have up here are the Climb Power Cross and the Alpine Stars Winter Surfer. Both of these are Gore-Tex waterproof liners, so they're guaranteed to keep you dry, guaranteed for life, and they also both have insulation in them. First one is the Climb Power Cross. Price on these, you're about $100. But Climb built this for a rider that's gonna want a glove that can do cold adventure dual sport riding, some snow biking, even some snowmobiling, and here's why. And I actually really do like this glove. You've got 100 grams of insulation, so it's gonna do great in those really cold temperatures. You've got, again, the Gore-Tex liner, but now you can see you've got a leather palm on here, but they have what they call their Gore-Grip technology. And the Gore-Grip just means that the waterproof liner is laminated to the glove, just designed to give a little bit better feel when you're gripping. You've also got, you can see silicone here on the bends of the fingers just to add a little bit of grip, especially in those wet conditions. You also now have a squeegee on the index finger. So if you're looking for lots of insulation, waterproof, great glove for snow biking, snowmobiling, the Power Cross would be a really good choice. Now from there, we have the Winter Surfer. Now I will point out with the Winter Surfer, the fit on this glove is good, but a little bit tougher to get on. I really wish they had a loop on the wrist just to help pull that on a little bit easier. But aside from that, you're getting a lot of good features here. You bump up in price about $150, 
but you're getting everything we just talked about. Leather palm, great abrasion resistance, you're waterproof, but you're gonna bump up a lot when it comes to protection. You've got the hard knuckle protector here. You can see on the palm, full leather, lots of reinforcements. You have a palm slider. You also have reinforcement on the pinky. So if you're looking for one glove that can really just check off all the boxes, waterproof, insulated, great protection, Winter Surfer is gonna be a really good option. Now from here, we're gonna show you some of our best options for full gauntlet gloves. All right, so we have three more gloves that we're gonna show you before we let you go. We have the Aurora 2 from Fly Racing, the Climb Climate Gauntlet, and we have the Outrider Heated Glove from First Gear. Now before I talk about these three, I just wanna point something out, a little tip. What we like to do on our adventure rides is we just take two sets of gloves. We have one glove that can handle the warmer temps and those cooler temperatures, but if we know we're gonna be riding in those really cold temperatures where you gotta have warmth and comfort, we'll just take an extra set of gloves. So it's just a little tip, something to keep in mind when you are glove shopping. But if you're gonna encounter those really, really cold temperatures, then a glove like we have on the table is gonna be a necessity. So the first one is the Aurora 2 from Fly Racing. If you're just looking for a good, warm, waterproof gauntlet glove that's affordable, one of the best options out there. You're well under the $100 mark, you've got 150 grams of thin slate insulation on the back of the hand, 29 grams on the palm, leather construction for the palm. What I also like too is that you do have protection over the top of the knuckles, first two fingers here on the outside of the wrist, hyporal waterproof liner, and what I like is that you actually have this nylon sleeve here on the inside. It just helps give a good tight seal around the arm. Again, that's the Aurora 2 from Fly Racing. From there, you have the Climb Climate Gauntlet. This glove has the most insulation of any glove that we have shown you. You've got 200 grams of thin slate inside here. That is going to do a, an excellent job of keeping you warm. You've also got the Gore-Tex waterproof liner, again, guaranteed to keep you dry, guaranteed for life. Squeegee on the left finger, not gonna be touchscreen compatible, but what I like is that this pull cord here on the end, easy to operate with just one hand, gets a good tight seal around the arm, and then to loosen that, you just grab this tab, give it a pull, loose and dried up. So again, that's the climb, climate, climate Gauntlet. If you're looking for the max amount of insulation, that's what you get here. Now last but not least, we have the Outrider Heated Glove from First Gear. If you are looking for the most warmth possible, then Heated Gear is gonna be with the way to go. I do wanna point out with this glove that it is designed to work with the heated jacket liner. We have a great product spotlight where we'll show you all the First Gear Heated Gear, give that a watch. But what's cool about the Outrider Glove is the way you control the heat is right here with this button on the back of the hand, but you have three different heat settings, and when you have these on, what's cool is that one, the glove, you can have functioning completely different than the jacket liner. In other words, you could have this glove on high, you could have the jacket liner on low, and you can even control the two gloves separately. You could have the left hand on medium, the right hand on high, so it just gives you a lot of versatility there. But on top of that, this glove checks off a lot of boxes. Your goatskin leather construction, so very high quality, but you also have a lot of good protection. You got protection over the top of the knuckles, here on the back of the hand, outside of the wrist. You've even got the Knox Armor sliders here on the palm area, silicone there. So it just checks off a lot of boxes. Great construction. You've got waterproof membrane, but again, it's heated, so if you're looking for the most amount of warmth and comfort as possible, then this would be the best option. All right, so now that you've seen our eight picks for cold weather gloves, we just wanna show you those accessories that we were talking about earlier to help you be more comfortable in those colder temperatures. First up, you have glove liners. A couple options from Climb. You have the 1.0, which is the thin glove liner. It's gonna add a little bit more warmth to the gloves that you currently have. You have the 3.0, which is the wind stopper. So if you wanna make your gloves windproof, you could pick these up. These are gonna be a little bit thicker, but they're gonna be windproof. Next up, you have heated grips or the grip heater kit. Like I mentioned earlier, this is the setup that we run on all our ADV bikes. Awesome to have, they do a great job of making your hands warm and nice and comfortable. And lastly, you've got the Giant Loop Bushwhackers. We've got several riders that run these. They're massive. They actually are intended to install onto your handguard, so you will need handguards on your bike while running these. But they are massive guards that give great protection from the elements. And there you have it. Those are some of our great accessories. That does it for our 2021 Cold Weather Glove Buyer's Guide. If you have questions, make sure to leave those below. We wanna get those answered for you. We would love to hear your feedback. What gloves are you wearing or what do you do to help keep your, your hands warm and comfortable when you're out there on your rides? To pick up your next set of gloves, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. Remember, orders are over $75 ship free. And if you like this buyer's guide, we have them for all the major categories for dual sport and adventure. So get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel and stay up to date. I am Chase and we'll see you on the trails.